Behind Mario, Pokemon is Nintendo's leading franchise. Pokemon has made many great games, but for every five good games, they're bound to make a terrible one. Games like Pokemon XD or Battle Revolution are thrown around as being bad, and trust me, they're atrocious. But my personal pick for the, one of the worst Pokemon games ever made is none other than... Hey You Pikachu. Nintendo is known for making gimmicky game accessories like the wireless adapter for the Game Boy Advance or an attachable microphone for the GameCube, not to mention the Power Glove as well. This game requires one of those gimmicky accessories. Meet the Hey You Pikachu microphone. It came exclusively with the game where you had to plug it into the fourth controller port on your Nintendo 64, so you can talk to Pikachu. For the most part, it's extremely useless, because I've never heard of another Nintendo 64 game being microphone compatible. So once you plug in your microphone, turn on your Nintendo 64 and start playing some Hey You Pikachu. One unique thing I like about Hey You Pikachu is that the start menu is interactive and you can actually talk to Pikachu here. Do you want to suck my dick? The main objective of the game is to follow the life and times of Pikachu as you encounter dangerous adventures like making mystery stew with Bulbasaur, going on a field trip with Pikachu, pinata parties, taking care of caterpies, treasure hunting, and even fishing. Wow. Suddenly, my expectations died. As you can probably tell, this game is extremely boring. I've never been this bored playing a game in my whole life. I got this game when I was 8 years old, and even when I was 8, I refused to finish playing the game because it was that boring. This literally has nothing going on here. I mean, yeah, it's fucking awesome being able to talk to Pikachu. Only if it wasn't so boring. Actually, talking to Pikachu was a huge problem, because most of the time, he wouldn't listen. When I was getting ingredients for Bulbasaur stew, yeah, just go with it, I actually only got one ingredient, because Pikachu wouldn't listen to me. I don't even think it was the right ingredient, either. Sometimes when I was told to say bye to Pikachu, for hilarity, I would say something derogatory towards him. Fuck you. Every time Pikachu wouldn't listen, I would get increasingly more frustrated, wanting to rage quit. While I played the field trip level, I actually encountered Pikachu being cannibalistic. He actually eats Oddish. So, I'm guessing Oddish is edible? Besides learning that Oddish is edible, I also learned that Caterpies change colors when they get hungry. Now that's just fucking strange. Another problem I had with the game is how it always describes everything, like its audience has some sort of mental disorder or memory loss. Once you come home from being with Pikachu, it says you're in your bedroom, then you go to sleep, where it autosaves. Then you wake up, and it reminds you you're in your bedroom, and that it's morning. Really? I thought I woke up in front of Victory Road. As I said before, the main point of the game is to do whatever Pikachu feels like doing for the day, until the game throws you a curveball and allows you to bring Pikachu home. Then you can choose which place you want to go to for the day. They're all the same things you did before, except the pinata party. That's the only difference. The characters for this game are pretty well animated. Well, at least most of them are. I'm sorry, but Charmander looks like fucking Barney. Sometimes you see things Pikachu is holding go through his body, or you see oddly placed Pokemon, or your camera would just look at a wall if you're following Pikachu. Or you can see Pokemon going through other Pokemon. But you gotta remember, I grew up with Pokemon as my everything. So being able to talk to Pikachu wasn't a terrible experience. Right? Fuck it, this game blows. 
For all the pointless shit Nintendo's ever put out, I often question why people don't mention this. Yeah, it's pretty innovative being able to talk to Pokemon, but really, there should be a story instead of watching Pikachu devour Oddishes.